Welcome back to Madman Review. This is your host, Mike. If you have a 9 to 5 and you are living from paycheck to paycheck, you're barely scraping by and you need a firearm. Maybe you are in a neighborhood with a high crime rate and you need something to defend yourself with. What are your options? Budget firearms come in all brands, makes, models, and prices. They are much cheaper than their higher-end counterparts, making them an attractive option for the working class like you and me. They are also widely available and can be purchased at most gun stores, making them an accessible option if you are looking to buy your first firearm today. Of course, most budget firearms don't have the same level of build quality or materials as high-end firearms, so they may not last as long or perform as well. Some may have limited features compared to high-end firearms, which means they may not be suitable for certain shooting activities or certain brands of ammo. And lastly, some budget-priced firearms will never be as reliable as high-end ones, such that they may be more prone to malfunctions or breakages. But there are models that have pretty good build quality, perform just fine, and are durable enough to pass on to your grandchild, even with their low MSRP. Here are five of the best budget guns on the market today. I'll include one for each type, so no matter what you need a gun for, my list has you covered. Rock Island Armory M206 Spurless Revolver Rock Island Armory, or RIA for short, is a brand of firearms and firearm parts that is known for producing budget-friendly firearms for the civilian market. RIA is a subsidiary of Armscore, a Philippine-based company that has been producing firearms since 1905. The company is known for producing firearms in a variety of styles, including shotguns, rifles, and handguns, and offers a range of models to suit different needs and budgets. The firearms produced by Rock Island Armory are popular among recreational shooters, hunters, and competition shooters who are looking for an affordable option with decent quality. The Rock Island Armory M206 resembles the Colt Detective Special, aesthetically, and may be a wee bit mechanically as well, if you take a look at its cylinder release. The Colt Detective Special is a six-shot double-action revolver that was introduced in the 1920s. It was designed for concealed carry by law enforcement officers and detectives and is known for its compact size and snub-nosed barrel which makes it very easy to carry concealed. The Rock Island Armory M206 is a great option for concealed carry and even for home defense, as it uses a reliable and simple design that is easy to use and doesn't require you to purchase extra mags. As a shooting platform, revolvers are known for their reliability and simplicity, and the M206 is no exception. With fewer moving parts than most semi-automatic pistols, a revolver is less prone to malfunctions and is easier to maintain. And revolvers also have the advantage of simplicity. The M206 is a double-action revolver, which means that it can be fired from pulling the trigger without having to manually cock the hammer each time. This can make it a good option for those who are not experienced with firearms or who are looking for a simple self-defense weapon. The M206 has two drawbacks. The first one is its ammo capacity. Like all six-shot revolvers, the M206 has a limited capacity compared to many semi-automatic pistols. This can be a disadvantage in self-defense situations where more than six shots may be necessary. This can be somewhat mitigated by speed loaders. The HKS RSL733 38 Special Speed Loader sells for $11.53 a piece, but speed loaders are bulky to carry, so if you need a handgun for concealed carry, my next recommendation, the Palmetto State Armory PSA Dagger Compact will be a much better option. The other drawback associated with the M206 is its gritty trigger pull, which is minor. Just spend some time shooting it in the range, and that trigger pull will get smoother. The Rock Island M206 is nowhere near as good as the model it tries to imitate, but for its super low price of $259, you'd be hard-pressed to find any other revolver that comes close. Palmetto State Armory PSA Dagger Compact Pistol If you didn't know, the patent on the design of Glock Gen 3 pistols expired in 2018, which means that other companies are now able to produce pistols that are similar in design to the Glock Gen 3 without infringing on Glock's intellectual property rights. Palmetto State Armory, or PSA for short, is an American firearms retailer and manufacturer based in South Carolina. It is known for offering a wide range of firearms and firearms-related products, including rifles, shotguns, handguns, and ammunition, at competitive prices. In addition to retail sales, PSA also produces its own line of firearms including rifles, shotguns, and handguns under the PSA brand name. The company is known for offering budget-friendly options for recreational shooters, hunters, and competitive shooters, as well as for providing high-quality products and customer service. PSA is a popular choice among firearms enthusiasts who are looking for affordable and reliable options for their shooting needs. 
PSA has an entire line of pistols similar in design to the Glock 19 Gen 3 called the PSA Dagger, though it is not an exact clone. And among their PSA Dagger pistols, I can wholeheartedly recommend the Dagger Compact, a polymer-framed striker-fired semi-automatic pistol that shares many similarities with the Glock 19 Gen 3, including its compact size, dimensions, and overall appearance. The PSA Dagger Compact, like all pistols under PSA's Dagger line, is a budget-friendly alternative to any Glock 19. It was designed specifically to offer a similar, if not better, shooting experience to the Glock 19 at a lower price point. Thanks to its lightning cuts the company calls extreme carry cuts, the PSA Dagger Compact has an unloaded weight of only 22.4 ounces. It has a barrel length of 3.9 inches, with an overall length of 7.15 inches, an overall width of 1.28 inches, and a height of 4.78 inches without its mag inserted, making it a superb budget option for concealed carry. Both the barrel and slide are made of stainless steel with a DLC coating for longevity. If you do decide that you want one, get the PSA Dagger Compact model number 910132111-1. It has slide cuts for an RMR pattern optic and has a Mariglow black front and rear sights that can lower one third cut witness, all for an affordable $349.99. The only downside is it only comes with one fifteen round mag. Savage Stevens 320 Security Pump Action Shotgun Savage Stevens is a brand of firearms that is owned by the Savage Arms Company. Savage Arms is an American brand. It has been around since 1894 and is headquartered in Westfield, Massachusetts. The company is best known for producing rifles, though they make shotguns too every so often. And just fairly recently, they released the Stance and their own version of the Colt M1911. They have all sorts of firearm models for hunting, target shooting, and other shooting sports. Savage Stevens is a brand that is used by Savage Arms to market firearms that are designed for entry-level and budget-conscious consumers. Products under the Savage Stevens brand are typically value-oriented, but make no mistake, they are some of the best bang-for-buck firearms you'll ever find on the market. Imported by Savage Firearms from the biggest Marxist country in the East, the Savage Stevens 320 security design is inspired by the Winchester 1300. I won't name that country, because YouTube will demonetize us if I do. But yeah, I know some of you have a problem buying stuff from that country, and believe me, I do too. But it is a $250 shotgun, and if there's ever going to be a war between America and that country, imagine how satisfying it could be to blast the enemy with their own gun. But I digress. The Savage Stevens 320 is known for its reliability, which is important in home defense or tactical situation. Its pump-action design is simple and straightforward, making it easy to use for shooters of all skill levels. The Savage Stevens 320 security pump does have a few downsides which come standard in most bargain basement shotguns in its category. For one thing, it has a limited capacity. This shotgun is chambered for 3 inch shells but only has room for 5 rounds in the mag, which may not be suitable for anything other than home defense. You will need to practice your quick reloads if you want to be able to fully utilize the shotgun. Also, the Savage Stevens 320 security pump is a heavy shotgun, relatively heavier compared to other similar models on the market, so if you're thin and weak, you may need to start pushing weights in the gym. And lastly, the trigger can be horrendous. The trigger pull is heavy because the hammer has a rough surface where it engages the shear, and it has sharp edges as well, but it's nothing sandpaper can't fix. Caltech Sub-2000 Pistol Caliber Carbine Known for their innovative, if not weird, firearm designs at some really affordable price points, Caltech is a polarizing firearms manufacturer in America. Founded by an experienced gun designer in 1995, Caltech builds good guns, though some are notorious for having quality control issues. And yet, the company enjoys popularity with a lot of firearms enthusiasts, and they don't stop adding new products to their portfolio. The Caltech Sub-2000 is a semi-automatic pistol caliber carbine or PCC as enthusiasts like to call it. It is designed to be compact and portable, unique in that it is able to fold in half for easy storage and transport, making it a viable home defense and backpacking gun. And it can also be a great SHTF gun for your bug out bag because it accepts several different types of magazines. The Sub-2000 is available in 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson with an MSRP of anywhere from $578 to $621. 
The 9mm variant accepts Glock 19 and Glock 17 mags, Beretta 92 mags, Sig P226 9mm mags, and Smith & Wesson M&T 9mm mags, while the 40 Smith & Wesson variant accepts Glock 23 and Glock 22 mags, Beretta 96 mags, Sig P226 40 Smith & Wesson mags, and Smith & Wesson M&T 40 Smith & Wesson mags. If you're going to purchase one, I would recommend you go with a 9mm version because 40 Smith & Wesson ammo is becoming harder and harder to come by these days. We even made a video on it and other cartridges that will soon become extinct. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. Personally, I'd like to see a sub-2000 variant chambered in 10mm. It shouldn't be difficult to build something like that because besides their overall lengths, the 10mm and the 40 Smith & Wesson cartridges aren't too different from each other. And the 9mm cartridge, while adequate for home defense, is ballistically lacking. Plus P and plus P plus 9mm loads aren't an option either, as Caltech doesn't recommend shooting over pressure loads in the sub-2000. Dalton DT Sport Mod 2 AR-15 Based in Elizabethtown, North Carolina, Delton Inc. used to be a one-stop online shop for quality custom rifle kits, rifle parts, upgrades, optics, and accessories. The business saw success and demand for more of their products increased. It is now a manufacturer of a variety of AR-15 upper receivers, lower receivers, complete rifles, and other gun parts. Some of their rifles include the DT Sport, the DT Evolution, the DT Extreme Duty, and the company's Alpha, Echo, and Sierra rifles. They also sell rifle kits. Though popular among some rifle enthusiasts, Dalton Inc. is a relatively lesser known brand compared to other more popular brands and for this reason, their DT Sport Mod 2 is priced competitively. The Dalton Inc. DT Sport Mod 2 is a well-made entry-level AR-15 and if I'm honest, it doesn't show a single visual sign of being a budget rifle. The fit and finish is about as good as anyone could expect for a base AR-15 rifle. The upper and lower receivers have a tight fit with no wobble. There are also no visible tool marks on any of the gun surfaces. Of course, it's much cheaper to build your own AR-15, but the DT Sport Mod 2 is just hard to beat for its price. Chambered in the venerable 5.56 NATO, DT Sport Mod 2 will load and shoot both 5.56 and 2.23. It has a barrel length of 16 inches with a 1 in 9 rifling twist rate. It uses a carbine-length gas system, M4-style handguards, and an M4 feed ramp which the manufacturer doesn't even advertise. The receiver is made of 7075T6 aluminum and has a hard-coat anodized finish. It has a 6-position collapsible stock and an A2-style pistol grip. It comes with a flip-up rear sight, a fixed A2 front sight, a flash hider, and a single 30-round mag all for an MSRP of $698. And that's all I have for you in this video. If you want me to do more of these types of content, let me know by commenting down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. This is Mike again with Madman Review signing off.